Hi guys, Matt here, Mount Design, and in this video I want to show you how to create your own paste types for Concrete 5 CMS. Um, so I've got this paste type I've been working on, um, and I want to create a new one <clears throat> so I can kind of adapt it, open it up a bit more. So it shouldn't take too long, I'm just going to jump between Concrete 5 and Dreamweaver just to show you how it's done. So um, first thing we need to do is find out what page type we're using. So if we go to Design, Go to, car, go to page template and then if we expand that it tells you I'm using columns so let's go back down to Dreamweaver and inside our Dreamweaver there's our columns PHP so what I'm going to do let's just delete that one yeah okay so columns so I'm going to make a copy of that and then that will kind of Bit of control, control, control C, control V, and then at the bottom it will kind of appear here as a copy. And then I'm gonna do, roll that back, and we're gonna call this pricing. So you can call it whatever you want. So it's pricing page. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do, push that up to the server. And then we go back to our concrete five, and then I'm just gonna open up the dashboard in a new tab and then inside page and pages and themes we've got page templates and as you can see now it's asking us to create this new page template so I'm going to press OK and then what we do clear the cache um, has been known to kind of hold on to previous versions of pages so let's clear the cache it's one of the most frustrating things you'll experience so I always do that first now let's just give that a cheeky refresh first before we try and find it let's go to design let's expand this down and there's my pricing page i press save and as you can see it's exactly the same as the one i had before because that's a copy of the same one we did before but now if we go back to dreamweaver and we open up our pricing page what i'll do i'll just say this is my Pricing page, and then I'll save that. And I'll put that up, and then I'll come back to um, our page. I'm going to approve the page, and then as you can see, that's kind of kicked in straight away. So I kind of missed my marker with the grid. So now we can work down. So one of the things I wanted to do was open up the grey strip so as you can see my row ends at the very bottom um, and I've got a section somewhere there we go full section grey so what I'm going to do I'm going to end my row there and start a new row inside here Uh, for anyone wondering, we are using Foundation, Zorb Foundation's mobile responsive grid. Uh, we kind of customised it ourselves to be grid 4, but same principles apply, grid large 4, medium 4, all that kind of stuff. We didn't change the row, so I'll close that there. And then we're going to need another row here, because we kind of broke it out. So as you can see, a few clear fixes and stuff. So let's save that and then push him up. And then if we come down, what we're looking for this is this here to go full width. And then we're going to refresh that. And there you go. So I kind of broke my section out for myself. And then I want to move this text inside here. So what we're looking for, if you um, easiest thing to do is go into edit mode and you know what you're looking for so if you highlight that you're looking for so see I've got full so that's my editable region inside the page template so if I just do a quick search for full there we go so there's our, there's our column um, so all I'm going to do is grab him and move him inside the row Push him up, come back, and then there you go, he's inside. Um, what I would stress is 
don't overly complicate them by putting in your own grids inside well your own divs um, unless you know it's a one-off and you're not going to use it again um, I wouldn't code divs inside of it I would just just set up the content regions um, I just wanted that gray area and I'm thinking about pulling this a bit wider but um, yeah it's up to you as you can see it's pretty simple it takes a few minutes to set up and and away you go so if you have any questions just pop a pop a pop a question below and i'll be happy to try and aid you on your way thanks for watching bye